double unders are easy, mate. Listen, listen, it's like this. If you've got your single unders, you're there. All you gotta do is um, jump a little bit higher, twice as high, maybe. Get that rope turning a little bit faster, and you've got it. Easy. No, that's awful. That's an awful tip. Awful, awful, awful. <laughs> we've gotta remember, the double under is not dependent on how high we jump. As we've just seen, you can do a double under with a nice, slow, boundy kind of jump. Really slow double unders, really tall. But you can also do some really snappy, quick double unders where you're lifting off the ground just slightly. It's pretty much the same elevation as a single under, funnily enough. So it's not dependent on how high you jump. What it is dependent on is the relation between how high you jump and your wrist rotation speed. If you're jumping a bit higher, your wrist rotation has to accommodate that. And the same for if you're jumping a bit lower. So, cool, fine, well done, big shot. You can do double unders with a high jump, you can do double unders with a low jump. Aren't you great? But what's the point? Well, I'm gonna talk about two reasons why I feel like this is very useful to do. And you're all big boys and girls, you can do what you want. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to listen to me telling you what to do, but allow me to just suggest why you might want to do this. The first reason is that in order to go and vary between doing a high double under and doing a low double under, you have to have a very good grasp of your coordination between the hands and the feet. The hands and the feet are doing two different things, of course, with skipping. And if you can vary the scale, if you can slide along that scale and apply the correct wrist rotation speed for your jump, whether it's high, or it's low if you can go to those two ends of the spectrum you've got a very good command of that and this will just take your whole jump rope game to the next level now it comes with training especially with those single under height double unders meaning the short zippy jumps off the ground it takes some time because with the smaller jump you've got much less room for error you've got much less time to get those two rotations in it doesn't mean you should go crazy and try and whip that rope super quickly it still has to be in accordance with the jump because the hands are doing one thing the feet are doing another if you can get them to work in tandem in different circumstances you will have a much a much better grip of what you're doing so a much better tip for doing your double unders than oh just jump a little bit higher you know turn that rope twice as fast a much better tip would actually be to do your single unders in this manner so you start with some low single unders very quick very snappy and then go into some higher single unders i'll, I'll do a quick demo with that so whoops untangle this there we go so you've got some zippy single unders here bang 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 then you've got some high single unders this still takes some control although it looks easier Okay, zippy. Alright. That's the first reason why I'd recommend working on that variation between, excuse me, <laughs> uh, the height of your jump and your wrist rotation. The second thing is that you can actually get really clever during your workouts. So, for example, if you're doing a structured workout, maybe you're doing a CrossFit workout, for example, and you've got 50 double unders each round and you've got to go off and lift some heavy barbell and do some box jumps or something you can work on using your double under as a nice relaxed rest period so if you're doing a really high slow double under it's less intense and less taxing so you can use that period to sort of recuperate but on the flip side if you're short on time and you're trying to beat a personal best record for getting those double unders in, you can switch to your rapid zippy double unders. So you can use them tactically. You can use your double under to rest, although it is still work. It's just relative resting to what you could be doing. Or you could really bomb through those double unders and get them in a much quicker time. But of course, there's balance. You pay for this time with um, having a much larger energy output. So you can vary between the two take some training just work on varying the speed and you'll see what it will do for you thank you once again for tuning in for this igtv video i really appreciate you taking the time do feel free to drop a comment down below let me know if this helped you out if you thought some of the ideas in this video were cool um let me know down below once again i appreciate it and until next time all the best with your training 
stay raging. 